Are we live? Yes. Hey guys, welcome back Paper Birdies to Paper Bird Home Club episode 13. We are in my home with Fletcher, Hazel <laughs> and my Mary. lovely wife, yeah, you, and my lovely wife Jillian is holding the camera today. Uh, I'm going to tell you what I've been up to. We're going to go through a new thing for the Paper Bird um, Home Club. We're doing a Paper Bird um, five questions. Usually people will rattle these off really quickly and then get into theirs, uh, into their little show. And this time I'm going to try and draw all the answers. Um, a couple of things I've been up to lately. I've been working on a book for Larrikin House with the author, awesome author, Siggy Cohen. Uh, it is Zombie Teachers. It's going to be pretty fun. That's good. Hopefully it'll be wrapped up soon. <laughs> and uh, what I'm going to do is, uh, yeah, let's get into it, I think. I think I'm still stuttering and trying to figure out what I'm going to do. Uh, do you want to swing around this way, me? Swinging. Um, so here we are. So the first question is... Do I like M and M's or Skittles? M and M's. Oh, my daughter knows me all so well. Skittles. So, I actually truth is I love both. both. So like both. Uh, so right, both you reckon? Mm -hmm. Well, it's true. I do love both, but I was. What do you like best, Hayes? Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and yeah. Well, these feet are not that great. <laughs> but no, so, they're shoes. They're shoes. So let's do that. And he's right here. Mm-hmm. Sure got a little M&M &M here. But the thing is, I have a super sweet tooth. So my daughter is right that... Uh, just so you know, homeschooling is going great with everyone. <laughs> So, is that a Skittle or is that an M&M? M&M. &M. I think it's an M&M. &M. You're right. So let's get a sneaky little M on the side here. Where there would be. I'm not super stoked on that, but... And then just put around so you can... Or mm. you should put mm. like a little M&M &M in its hand. About to eat it. Oh, someone's going to eat it? Mm -hmm. How about if I... Because I do love M&M's and Skittles, but it means I have to brush my teeth a lot because they can ruin my teeth. There's books. Was that long? There we go. This is it. Okay. Need a fork. Yeah, just a minute. Okay, making an audible change here, guys. Okay. Toothbrush. It's a toothbrush, so then I can always be keep my teeth cavity free. And my teeth can be... Happy. Oh, yep. Did, it, did Pops just draw that one that was in the bathroom? Just. Yep. No, you didn't. <laughs> okay. Mm. Well, she didn't. Should I? Hazel, did he 
just draw it when I was in the bathroom? Yes. Yeah. Yes. How? How? So there's my happy to. Okay, so let's go to question two. Am I a night owl or an early bird? Night owl, night owl. Definitely, no. huh? Night owl, night owl. Night owl. <laughs> night owl. Okay, night owl. So what I'll draw is me as a night owl and then me, what I look like as an early bird. What do you reckon? So what do owls have? Do they have eyes? Eyes. Good eyesight. Good eyesight. Wait, no. what? So what has good eyesight? Birds? Owls? Mm -hmm. Owls, yeah. Birds are good catching prey. Mmm. That looks like it's been screen printed. Do they have 30 questions on here? 30? Yeah. No. How many? Ten? We have five questions. And then what are you going to be doing? Talking? I try to talk. What do you think I should talk about, Fletch? Skating. Skating. Me skating. Talk about you skating on here. Yeah. About how awesome you are. Yeah. So I'm trying to draw these owl eyes that are super awake. Look like this. So do they have beaks? Yes. Show beaks. Pointing. Pointy show beaks. Mm. Then maybe if we go. And some else have little. Maybe like this. Get him down here. Should he be? Well, maybe I won't have enough room. So we'll do this. Little claws here. Sorry, these feel a little rushed. It's a super weight. Now, what does me look like as an early bird? Mm -hmm. uh, grumpy. <laughs> I'm happy. Happy? I've been pretty happy in the morning lately. Sometimes you're grumpy. Yeah, that's true. So let's go. Okay. So then we'll go. Maybe definitely some rumpled feathers. Yeah. Some messy hair. Walking around with an eye mask on, not realizing it still. <laughs> that does happen. And I found it in the bathroom once. <laughs> I actually did. You actually did find Pops' eye mask there. Plus I found your eye mask in... In the bathroom? Mm -hmm. Wow. Getting some tired eyes. It's so hard getting up in the morning. Uh, I'm still tired. Why are you doing this, Pops? Uh, for fun? Mm. Is this going to take half an hour? I think so. Well, I hope so. What? I hope so. Why? Because it's fun? Yeah. It gives people at home something else to watch for art class since they don't get to go to school and go to art class. That's true. The guys over at Paperbird Books have been really good about um, trying to How? keep kids entertained and so. Jeez. And How can you draw that? Practice a lot. I feel like you planted some fans here. Yeah. <laughs> Ready for step number three? Oh, three. Um, sure, hang on. So. This like is it? grumpy pops. <laughs> yes. I will make him grumpy. Oh, it's so hard. How long? Okay. So Step we go. Step number three. This one. Hang on. What we should do? A little. I thought this would be fun. Yeah, it's a... 
Can I try it out right now? Ooh. Ooh, quite a lot. So this one. Oh, can I help you with that? Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, we can do it later. Yeah. What can I try? Later, yeah. Anyway, I know. I was later. Okay. <laughs> Does early bird pops get highlights? Yeah, it's true. <laughs> Step number three. Yeah, he might be a bit more. Okay. Step number three pops. Okay. Hang on, hang on. Let this roll out. Fly. Okay. Would, would I rather fly or breathe underwater? Underwater. I would rather breathe underwater, I think. Mm -hmm. But I had been surfing a lot lately. So, I. Do you think that I. If this is what would happen. If there was a big wave. Mm -hmm. Barrel. Barrel. Getting, getting a big barrel. Uh, mm -hmm. And if anyone has any comments of what they would do. If they would rather be, if they think they're a night owl, Comment if they... Comment down below. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> a lot of YouTube kids going on as well, apparently. No, so, actually, no, actually. this is the wave, right? This is the and spot. And I put pops on, on YouTube. There's these, like, grown-up kids, and they say, they say, if they see it, they say, comment down below. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is the spot I would rather be, right here. And the surfboard. Doing a little grab. Just splashing out. That would be me. How about, why don't you do cool your hair? Because your hair looks good. Well, I'm just doing, I'll do really black hair because I dyed my hair black. Oh, Island Kid 72 says they would rather fly. Ooh. Me too. I would much rather fly. Oh. Well, you'd well, be able to get to places. Cool, cool things you could see up there. Oh, yeah. I guess get that's... from one place to the other pretty quickly, hey? Yeah, yeah so this is where I know. Norm... So you can fly up really this is where and you don't need to go I would love to be. Yeah, be very this... green. Isn't that what you looked like yesterday, surfing sweets? No, so I'm <laughs> about to show you. <laughs> My paw. So this is underwater. Can you tell me what I did? This is what, uh, this is where I normally am when I go surfing. What is that? You'll see. I think it will start coming to light. I don't know what it is. Pots, maybe you need to fall right off. In the water with your legs up. Yeah. We saw some of that yesterday, didn't we? <laughs> he just, he's like this. He's like, Hold on, hold on. Hazel, this uh, is what pops is. Haze, haze. Blue armadillo design ah, would rather breathe underwater. That would be so cool. Oh my god. My god. Yeah. It would be cool. Imagine. Well, this, I can just breathe some... underwater every time I fall off the board, <laughs> which happens way more regularly than I'd like it to happen. Yeah, I would rather breathe underwater because I'm would scared you? of drowning. And then I'd have, a I'd be friends to with yeah, that's fair enough. Um, some fish. Mm, Pops does love to snorkel, doesn't he? No snorkel required. He could just go out and look at the fish. With just goggles. Yeah, just goggles. Breathe underwater, you could go super deep. What else could you see down there? I could see um, like oh, a flathead. Um, shark? Wild! Could... Yeah, dolphins. sharks, whales, dolphins. dolphins. Mm -hmm. A flathead, like you saw at the beach, huh, Hayes? What's that? It's flathead? A, a fish that lays really flat on the sand. Yeah, it was a baby one. It was a baby one, you spotted it. Good job. Okay, so we want to move like on to right question like, number like right four. Let's see. Number four. Cat Davy would rather breathe underwater. Subscribe Had a bubble around me so sharks couldn't get me. Oh, that's a good one. Fair enough. That is a good yeah. idea. A bubble. Okay, so the next one is treehouse or cushion fort. Cushion fort. Ooh. I would prefer a treehouse. Why? 
Uh, I just think there's something kind of fun about them. So about first of all, we would need a tree, though. Oh, yeah. Let's make a tree house. That, would, that is fun. Island Kids 72 votes Cushion Fort. Okay. They would like to come over to our house right now then, hey? Oh, uh, our living room. <laughs> no, the people commenting on here, because our entire living room is a cushion fort at the moment. Click a show, uh, No, not right on this one. Okay, so. We have build. Brianna Nolan 85 votes Treehouse as well, and Blue Armadillo Design. Treehouse would be pretty cool. High up there. It's a bit sturdier. That's the one thing with cushion forts. They fall oh. They fall apart easily, huh? Let's go yeah. and make them. Let's go and make them. Okay. To the cushion fort. Alright. So we have a window. Maybe at this window would have uh, someone throwing out. Something. What are they throwing out? Island Kids thinks that the tree looks very fragile. It doesn't look too sturdy for that size treehouse. I do agree from a structural point. Blue Armadillo Design thinks a teddy bear is being thrown out the window. Oh, that's a good idea. So, but the teddy bear is apparently getting thrown into the... Uh, into the ocean? Into the ocean as well. Let's hope it can breathe underwater. Cat Davy says, a fridge with my favorite snacks. Yeah, you and me both. <laughs> you could make it a birdhouse, has been suggested, because of the tiny tree that it's in. <laughs> Give it a little birdhouse here. <laughs> oh, a bone being thrown out. Birdhouse. There's a little bird. Okay. So we oh yeah, I've been so, a few little highlights in here. Just to bring it out. A snazzy trick. Yeah, it's great on the tan paper. So, all right, maybe give him some bubbles. Is it cheating if you go back? Uh, so, should I do a little cushion for it? Yeah. Okay. Hey, Teddy. <laughs> Teddy's being thrown out. There has also been a structural design flaw pointed out by a five-year-old that there's no ladder. Uh, How do you get up? And also there's that's no a good point. <laughs> so let's, have, let's have this. Well yeah. done. <laughs> there's no ladder on that box. There's a rope here. I know, it's down this way. Oh, is it? I'm going to put a little ball on the end. I can make the swing part. So let's do the ladder from here. I know how to make a ladder. But I think you need some of this on the ladder. Oh, do I? Mm-hmm. Okay. 
Okay. Art directed by my five year old. <laughs> so, cushion for it. Okay, so this cushion fall. I also, for, I also forgot a couch. I need a couch in there as well? Mm -hmm. Well, hang on. Try and figure out how we can do this. Maybe then, let's add one more cushion in here. Give me a little room. And then the cushion, the square cushion, square cushion, square cushion, and you're done. Oh, so easy. And then the next Ooh, relaxing place. So that's what you do in cushion forts, hey? Mm. What would be in a cushion fort? Mm. I don't know. There'd be just... You keep trying two... to put our dog in it. Would there be two <laughs> kids, one tall. One small. Mm -hmm. Like if that one's you, and that one's me. That's good. Oh. You should put up a sign, they said. A sign? In the cushion fort. A sign? Mm -hmm. What would the sign say? Oh. And some rugs. What would the sign say? Keep out. Under 10 years old allowed only, maybe? Okay, so maybe we'll have... Rebecca Newman Books, thanks for appreciating the artistic helpers. <laughs> <laughs> or oh that's cute a sign that says dogs allowed do not enter welcome oh that's lovely how about a chair chairs are good because they're sturdy so you can hang the rugs and blankets off of them. Thanks. Okay, we'll get past this last one and get to the last question. gonna say dogs allowed that's cute okay so let's move on no highlights for you no highlights is there right so what is your favorite bird if you're mm. an illustrator please draw us one okay what are my favorite what is my favorite bird I have to do this from memory um, who can go past a, uh, let's go, an emu? Emu, really? What would your favorite bird be? Definitely not an emu. The Yours wild, a peacock, those though. ones kind of give me the heebies. They're as tall as I am. When I saw them up in the wild, I was afraid I was going to get pecked in the face. With their big eyes staring right at me. It's like they know something I don't. Okay, what's well, someone else's favorite bird? Oh, a peacock was also thrown out there. I think that would be mine. A paper bird. That's cute. A paper bird. I, uh, I'll try and read. Waddle the... bird and Willy Wagtail. And also another vote for Emu. Oh, yeah. And there's Is a picture of a very. Is that the paper Beautiful the bird. bird. Yeah. Oh, I can get it. So. What is that? Maybe an 88? Yeah. A colorful bird. 
Okay. Can't win them all. You can't win them all. That's the moral of that drawing. A pelican or a toucan. Nice one. A ones. pelican? All right, let's try and get a pelican in quickly. That's a fun one. Their proportions are so funny. Put a little fish tail out of it. A magpie. Mighty Collingwood. Oh, we miss AFL. Oh, a kiwi bird. That's so we got those. What else do we have, sorry? Toucan. A toucan. An eagle. More votes for a kiwi bird. I don't know if it's with you or maybe he's not an early bird either. Maybe. Okay, Toucan, what was uh, the other one? We got four minutes. And, uh, oh, I did have a little shape challenge. Maybe we can crank out one of these. And you, uh, shape challenge. So this is what I, a lot of illustrators and authors do. I think Barani Stewart mentioned doing this as well in her episode. I think that was episode four, if you want to go back and watch that one. Um, and you sort of pick shapes and sort of figure out what they um, are. So basically this one, you can stay in the lines or out of the lines. It's more just trying to get your brain to work. So maybe this one is a, a, a witch. Good thing on the nose. Hmm. Yeah, she's got real squiggly hair. So, yeah. um, what could this one be? Maybe this one is a slug. What, is, mm. what are Someone people said? Say? A whale. A whale for that one? Mm. Or a whale for this one? I know slugs don't have teeth or, or tongues, but I don't know about tongues. Or what do they have teeth? Star. So we get Alien. And this one have slime. Does he have uh, eyes? Yeah, these guys. Oh. Ah, oh, there we are. Um, and so, two minutes. What else can we see? She was saying a whale on oh, this one. Oh, a whale. Okay. Um, I think I can see it. And this one's going to have a flat head. It's going to have big eyes. But we'll use this. Blowing out the water to this one, and this is going to have me being able to breathe underwater again, being washed away. Galaxy, that would be cool. That All right, good one. So, if you guys want to at home, or if you're trying to pass the time, um, staying safe, if you want to do some drawing challenges or try and draw your favorite, um, what's your favorite bird? Are you an Eminem &M skill? Would you rather breathe underwater? And how would you interpret those? Um, some nice little prompts to sort of 
move your day along and try and make it to the next day. <laughs> um, thanks for watching Paper Bird episode, Paper Bird Home Club episode 13. Thanks for everyone, all the paper birdies that joined. And jump on tomorrow uh, to see episode 14. Oh, Island Kids said many thanks. Oh, many thanks to you guys. It's super fun. Uh, thank you very much, guys, and have a good one.